Hi everyone, T here with another video for you. Today, I think I need a new intro since this is a new age, a new era, a new... I don't know. So, uh, you guys have been asking a lot about tutorials, videos about Photoshop, since I've been posting a lot of speed edits on my Instagram and they are doing just uh, great. And your guys have been amazing, so I re-edited the footage from those videos, speed it up uh, 650% because no one wants to see a 4 hour video, but if you really do, just leave it in the comments and I will probably have to upload the files to my website or something, I don't know. Let me know what's the longest length you would be willing to watch and I will get that for you. What I'm going to do today is watch this 23 minute video and try to explain it as I watch it. Trying to do some type of a voiceover. I don't know how to do it afterwards, but that's the main gist. Gist? Gist. That's the word. Okay, first of all, uh, before anything I did on Photoshop, I had a concept and I searched for stock images, uh, textures, references, did I go? I think I didn't go search for references, but you can. It's really good and helpful. But yeah, for this one, I had a full folder of stock photos that I could potentially end up using, and I had an idea that I ended up sketching on Photoshop. So, let's jump in to the video. That was cool. Okay, yeah, let's go. So right now, uh, sorry if I'm looking down, but yeah, um, I placed the photo that I really knew that I wanted to use for the foreground because the flowers really fitted what I had in mind. And then with a brush, I just drew roughly what I wanted to the main subject to look like. I knew I wanted to create a rock type portal, something like that, because that's something I've seen a lot in different movies and I wanted to create my take on that. And yeah, so here I tried um, this first texture, this texture and tried to blend it up, but I didn't quite like it. It ended up looking really repetitive that's a no good because you guys have already told me if I mess up that's a no good and things need to look perfect uh, after I tried this stock photo of a rocky mountain whatever the fuck that is and I instantly knew that I had to work with this one because it really fitted my idea of the portal so what I did was clip mask a bunch of layers of that stock photo and then just start layering them and doing the shape that I wanted to create. That was a really long process. Let me say that. It's not easy. This isn't, there's no push the button and everything happens and everything's perfect. That's not the case with Photoshop. There's a fucking fly here. But yeah, that's not the case. That's not something that will ha ever happen. And if it does eventually happen, that's a mess now because this is the fun, the fun part, the time you have to really do the detailed stuff because that pays off at the end. But yeah, this is just me, so enjoy it. So busy, Look, I'm back. A little elliptical brush really helps with cutting edges and making them rough enough to look organic, but clean enough to look sharp. 
Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say, and that's what I'm going with. Yeah, use an elliptical shaped brush to get organic, organic slash sharp edges. Fun. Okay, move along. tool to try and fast forward the process a bit because it was getting tedious like it was getting really annoying and I was getting over it and I really wanted to finish this one to follow the shape I created but at the same time follow the shape of the stock that I'm using because if you don't follow the shape of the stock you end up with something that feels wrong organic fuck you fly god fucking damn it go away but yeah, try to follow the flow of your stocks. That helps a lot. Okay. I've been keeping myself so busy, pushing out the misery, trying to find the peace in me. I wanna be. I
after the rock is done, I was searching for this guy to create the old environment. And I first thought of this guy because it's really portly like. It's really portly. That's not a word. That's not going to be a word. But yeah, like it looks like some future shit is about to happen. But yeah, here I'm trying to uh, fix some of the subject selection sticks. It's not that important to be honest because you can't see a shit. <laughs> but yeah, I tried it. It's really good to look into the details and that's what I try to do when I have the time. This is a fail attempt though. I tried this Aurora Blurry Always thing and it looks bad. It looks a mess. That light on the ground is cool though. But yeah, overall it looks a mess. I don't like it. I don't know what the fuck happened here. But that's a mistake, I think. I'm probably sure that's a mistake. I don't know what's happening. You're watching with me. So yeah, this is Puppet Warp. It's a really cool way of warping things. That was really explanatory. But yeah, moving along. Thank you. Thank you. That's bad. Okay, so I changed the shape of it, and now I'm trying to clean up the edges so it looks better, I guess. But I don't know why, I don't know if this is the right thing. Let's see what the fuck happens. So this is the first jellyfish I tried to use. It doesn't have the same vibe as the one I ended up using. We all know that. Uh, here I'm trying to start to put the values all the same across the whole image because when you don't have the values corrected it looks like the images don't blend together and that's a really important thing to look for that fly valve, that fly fly valve. Okay so yeah this is the second concept I thought of putting them stars inside of the rocky thing. It didn't work, but I kept it there for a bit. This is the final jellyfish. It's a sock. Some of you asked if I drawn it, if I painted it. No, it's a photo. Everything is a photo besides that, because that's not how tentacles work. But yeah, I like it. I don't know about you. I like it. So yeah, here it's mostly the finished, finished piece, but yeah, here I just dupl dupl duplicated, duplicated, duplicated the jellyfish, um, gave it a bit of depth with bigger jellyfishes in the front and smaller jellyfishes, and it had to jellyfishes, say jellyfish five times fast, fuck you. But yeah, um, bigger in the front, really use that fill blur, the focus, it's amazing for this purpose. Jesus. But yeah, uh, field blur is really good for this. It really helps with defocusing everything to a realistic uh, style of blur. And then I try to do the same, I think, for that second one, just to make it a bit more realistic and to blend with the foreground that I already have in the grass and that's yeah something that i was trying to do and i think i did really good Ooh, what, what? That, that was supposed to be well you did really well uh, okay what's happening now <laughs> i can't say go up Okay. Shit. Oh uh, yeah, this is just me cleaning up edges and cleaning up messes that are, uh, that are still there probably because I did a really a bad and shitty job. This is something I really like to do. I 
find a cool color scheme from a photo, I blur the shit out of that, and then I use it as a color scheme over the whole project, and I put it on soft, uh, over no? soft layer, soft light, light, soft light, and use like 10 or 20 opacity, and that really brings the whole color scheme together before the camera roll and select the color thing, whatever. Yeah, so after that I did a bit of skittles. I tried a bit of different colors for the jellyfishes just so they didn't look all the exact same. And I duplicated the jellyfishes legs so they glow a bit more. Here with a soft brush and a few pale white colors, I started to do light in the rock. Some people asked me if I used levels or if I used a camera raw to paint the light. No, I use a soft brush and a tablet, a Uyun tablet, this one right here. It's, yeah, it's really cheap, it's really good. But yeah, it's time consuming, but the end result is really cool. And I really like it. So if you have the time, paint that shit in because it's, <laughs> it's, it's really different. And if you don't know 3D like I don't know 3D, that's a really good way to do it. But yeah, you just have to imagine where the light would hit. That's not possible, but yeah, you can try to imagine that. And then paint that shit in and pray people believe that's where the light should go. <laughs> that's what I do. So the foreground didn't look really like fantasy-like and I did this in my last post as well. Uh, I tried to blend some photos, some flowers with the colors of the jellyfishes. Fishes? Fishes. I really like that. It really works in my mind. And after that I'm using some exposure layer adjustments to darken some stuff or lightening some stuff just to start and create a cool light effect. This is a level um, adjustment layer and I did exactly the same thing. I'm trying to start a uh, mood and that mood is like a really dark background to contrast with the glow from the jellyfishes and then the sunset in the back and a really fucking bright portal something that thing on the rocks really fucking bright and yeah that's basically what I'm trying to do and after that I just did camera raw and on camera raw I do a lot of stuff but that's a whole other video and that's a full on video of why I do what I do and why I don't do what I don't do but yeah that's basically how I composite things I have concept I do research for stocks I start placing some stocks in, try some different things, and eventually it starts to build an image in my mind, and then I go from there, and I always have in mind trying to create a foreground element, uh, how do you, like, there's a background, there's a foreground, and that's that. <laughs> yeah, that's the, I try to put a foreground element, me in the background and an element, so you have depth of field and that really helps uh, my images get a bit more life and yeah if you enjoyed this leave it like let me know what i did wrong what i could do better 
like looking into the lens and not there because that's me, that's you. So yeah, uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments what you want to see from other videos, uh, what other images you really want to know more about, um, the process or whatever. Um, let me know what the fuck you want to me to talk about because yeah, this is for you slash for me a little bit because I'm ecocentrical, ecocentrical, that's not a word. But yeah, let's go with that. And I see you in the next one. Goodbye, bye bye. I wanna be a